everything is dead ass beat. <laughs> Word of my mother, boy. That's a fact. Hey, it's your boy Chef G. I'm the circle in the building, and this is first with Rap TV. <sighs> my first rap name. My first rap name went by Toe Tag Chef. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. I got that name when I was like 16, 15, feel me? Yeah, the name speaks for itself, huh? Facts. My first live performance. I think my first live performance was at SOBs. SOBs, that's a fact. The Hot 97 shit, for me? And we went crazy, me and my son Sleepy. First thing I saw behind bars that I always remember. The first thing I seen that really made me like, this is some, I, I remember when I first got locked up and there was mad people sleeping on the floors inside of the pen, you heard? And I had to go in there to sleep on the floor too. And I seen how they was treating us. I'm like, damn, we not even like human in here, boy. Or for all the guys in the book, you feel me? Jail ain't for no man. Don't let them make you think that shit is cool. It's really not though. Bunch of men at one spot, their antics, I don't have time for that. <sighs> Go to college, it's a better dorm. First rapper to show me love. Word of my mother, the first rapper to show me love, my son. My son, Lil Bibby, that's a fact. He was the first rapper that ever shared my shit, and shit was going crazy. Shout out to Lil Bibby, you know the vault. First presidential endorsement. President Trump, man, oh God, yeah. Win the circle with it, winning. Go for Trump, man, stop playing games, you know what I'm saying? Do the right thing. First rapper that I looked up to, 50. <laughs> 50, huh? Yo, 50, you know the vibes, nigga, stop playing it, black, bitch. Yeah, that's a fact. Favorite, favorite 50 song was Many Men. I felt like I was him, you know what I'm saying? Putting on like a bulletproof vest and all that. We ain't even had that yet, but you know what I'm saying? It was lit, that's a fact. Definitely was 50. Playing the game and all that, it was, it was antics. First piece of bad advice I got. I don't even got no bad advice. Everybody around me is solid, you heard? We don't get no bad advices over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too sure about, yeah, that's a dub. There's no bad advice over here, you heard? Come join the winning team. Good advice only. First time I met Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> and shout out to my brother, man. It's crazy, cause first time I met Sleepy, was, we was not cool, bro. Or he was, he was one of them kids in the school, like we had to come in. We had to beat him up, you feel me? But we never got to beat him up though. Cause when we went to go beat him up, he was moving like a certain type of way. We like, yo, this kid moves like us. So we ended up getting cool, you feel me? Instead, and then now we made history together. All right, shout out to my brother. First song I ever made. I think it was 2016. And it was on a song with me, Sleepy, it was Mad of Us. It was called Nightmare. It's still on SoundCloud right now. So if you go tap it on SoundCloud, I think it's still up there and all that. It definitely was Nightmare. That's a fact. First altercation I got in at school. I had beer altercations over the lobby. I go front, I think, I think somebody had kicked me when I was in like pre, what was it first grade or some shit? I remember I got kicked. I was going to school in Flatbush, that's a fact. They kicked me, you know, yeah. You know what you did, fam. You know what happened after that, huh? Yeah. First tattoo I ever got. What was the first tat? The first tat I ever got, I think it was this one right here, facts. It's a chef hat with T2MB, true to my brothers. This was the first one I ever got. That's why I put the chef hat right here on top of the thing. Yeah, because of that one. That's facts. First lesson I learned in prison. Don't trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? Trust yourself. Trust yourself. <laughs> first day out. First day I went to the studio. I had to get right back to where I came from. Feel me? I ain't care about going to party. I ain't care about nothing else. Went right back to the stool, made everything lit. The crazy part is while I was in jail, I never really recorded music. Like I never really wrote music down and shit. Like I wasn't on rapper timing, you feel me? I was on a different type of timing, you feel me? But once I was coming home and I stepped back outside, I got right back into it, you feel me? So it was just like, how I felt is what I said on the track. And it was really lit. Everything went. First time I almost lost my life. How old was I? I think I was like 15. In 15, I got cut in my stomach. First time, they was like, what you know, the doctors always say this though. They be like, yo, yo, you was an inch away from dying and all that. Yeah, man, man. It is what it is, man. Yeah, antics. First time encountering a hater. So music-wise, the first hater I ever seen, it was on the internet. 
It was on Facebook. I remember they were saying my voice was so deep that they couldn't understand what I was saying and they was chatting. I should have been tight. But then now everybody's voice wanna be deep now, so everything's lit though, but yeah, that was the first first shit I was noticing. First thing being from New York taught me, everything is dead ass beat. <laughs> Word of my mother, boy. That's a fact. That is definitely a fact. First lesson I learned in the rap game, don't take everything too personal. You know what I'm saying? And there's no such thing as bad, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Everything is gooch. Bad and the good. Need that. First way to boss up your life. Join them in a circle, man. That's it. That's it. First lesson that fatherhood taught me, first of all, Shout out to my baby girl, I know you're gonna watch this. Love you, baby. Fatherhood taught me that life is precious, you heard? And you really gotta be there for your kids. You can't just, money ain't everything, you heard? It's the emotional support too, so make sure if you're a father and you get into the bag, make sure you did. Emotional support is needed, you heard? Especially when you have a baby girl. First way to make it out the trenches. You know, rap saved me, you heard? Rap saved me and everybody around me. So of course, it's definitely rapping. Music, definitely, the talent. First thing I can say about my next project, I feel like this project that I'm about to put out, I really had all hands in, like, everything, I, every track, everything I did was really like, yeah, it's a go, you feel me? I don't have no doubts about no songs, I don't feel no way about nothing, so, yeah, I feel like everything started with this one. First time I got in trouble at school, I got in trouble with Mad Times game. I can't remember the first, first time I got in trouble. This was just beer antics in school. But you know, I was a good kid though, you feel me? I had all the shit going on good, everything. I was passionate and all that. But it was just always antics with it. First piece of advice that I give. Listen, man. They're always going to shout your failures and whisper your accomplishments, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to shout your wins yourself, man. It's the winning circle, man. Yo, this is Chef G, and you watching First with Rap TV.